So far you have seen how to set up Playwright API testing in your system and also you have seen how to create the post API request by using the JSON file and without using the JSON file also we have created the post API request. And in this Playwright API testing tutorial we are going to see how to create get API request using Playwright. So firstly we will see the manual scenario. So here I will go to the postman. So firstly we are going to create the booking and after creating creating the booking here we are getting the 200 as a status code and in the API response body we are getting the booking ID unique ID. So by using this ID so here we have the another API called get booking details. So if I click on the send and it is going to get the booking details whatever we have just now created by using the post API call. And if you look at the get get method URL, so here we have parameterized booking ID. So we already know how to create the post API request. That means how to create a booking. Now we will see how to create the get API request where we will pass the booking ID by using the booking ID. We will get all the details and we will verify whether we are getting the 200 status code or not for the get API call. So here I will navigate to the navigate to the VS code and here I am creating one quickly spec file. So here I will rename the file name as get API request 05.spec.js. So that's it. And here I will rename the test name as create get API request in playwright. So that's it guys. So if I run this particular test, right guys, so it is going to create the one booking and also it is going to print us the API. Sorry, it is going to print us the all the booking details. So if you see here, so our test got passed. Let me open the output and here. So we are getting the booking ID by using this booking ID. We should be able to check whether we are whether we are able to create the resources in the application server or not by using the get API call. So it is very simple guys creating the get API call in playwright. So what I will do is so simply I will use the our request object by using this request object. So here I'm simply calling to the method called get. So inside the get. So here we have to pass the firstly URL. So if you look at the postman. So we have to pass the slash booking slash booking ID. So booking ID we have to get it from the previous API guide guys. So if you see here. So right now we have passed the slash booking slash. So here we have to pass the booking ID. So that's the reason. If you look at the output, so already we are able to get the API response body and that we have to save that into the one of the variable and uh, we can pass that variable wherever it is required so that we can read the booking ID. Now let's see how to get this particular booking ID. So you can just copy the key name. So by using this key name, we can get the booking ID. So this is where exactly we are getting the post API response body by using this variable, we can get the booking ID. So here I'll say post API response body dot simply I will specify the key name booking ID. So if you look at the postman also in the create booking API. So booking ID is the key that contains the booking ID. And I will assign back to the one constant variable called BID. So that means the booking ID. So that's it guys. Now we have the booking ID. So I will take this booking ID. So you can pass on to the get function that particular booking ID. So by specifying the dollar and within the flower brackets, you can specify the variable name. So here I will prefix this playwright command with the await keyword. And after that, I will assign this particular API response back to the one constant variable called get API response.
So that's it guys. So this particular statement will make the get API call with the booking ID and then it will return back return as the return back as the API response. That means the booking details. Now let's try to print the get API response body. So here I will use the one simple console dot log dot sorry so simply i'm using the console.log statement inside that i'm writing await followed by the variable dot so here i'm saying json so this will returns me the api response body and before that we are going to print one simple before we make this api call get api call i'm printing the one log statement so that we can differentiate both the outputs the output which is printing from the post api response the output which is printing from the get api response so that's it guys now i will execute the this api sorry this api api test and we will come back to the this particular test and we will add the validation for the status code so i will run the test so it should create the booking first and also it should check the whether we are able to create the new resource in the server or not by using the get api call and if you see here guys so this particular statement what we are getting it from the post api response body and also we got the api response for the get api call also so whatever the api request created so that details are coming in the get api call also in the get api request call so if you see here guys so we have created a booking by using all these details. The first name is test tester stock Cypress. And if you see in the response also in the get API call, so we are able to see the first name as tester stock Cypress. So our test is working as expected. Now let's validate the, so here I'll say get API call. And now let's validate the status code. So it is very simple guys so we have to use the expect keyword and inside the expect keyword so i will take the get api response variable by using this so firstly let's verify the okay and here i'll call to the method called to be truthy so here we are validating whether we are getting okay from the application server or not and after that we are going to assert the status code 200 so here I will take the get API response variable by using this. So here I'm calling to the method called status. And after that, once we get the status from the API, so simply here I'm calling to the another method called to be. So inside this, simply I'm passing the 200 as the status code. So if you look at the postman also, in this get API call, get booking details, we are getting the 200 as a status code in the response and also we are getting the okay as the response so that's the reason we are validating okay and status code now let's run the test guys so our test our test should get passed so there are no issues in this automation test right now so if you see here guys our test is getting passed so if i open the output here also you can see that our test is getting passed